Here's a sample problem for radiometric dating. So it tells us that we have a sample of rock from Earth and 37% of the original potassium-40 remains. Now, potassium-40 is a radioactive element, and over time it decays into argon-40, so this is telling us that enough time has gone by to lose all but 37% of the original potassium-40. And this can tell us how old the rock is. And then we have a reminder that the half-life of potassium-40 is 1.25 billion years. So you might remember the formula that we use for this one. The time that is the age is equal to the time that is the half-life times log base 10 of the current amount over the original all divided by the log and base 10 of 1 half. Alright, well we know the half-life. This half-life is 1.25 billion years. The only other thing we need to figure out is up here, the current versus the original amount. And it turns out that we've just been told that. So current versus original, this is a ratio. And often we express ratios in percents. And it turns out that the 37% is that ratio. 37% remains, that tells us the fraction that we have now, or current, compared to the, fra the amount that we had originally. So we're going to need to write this not in the percent format, but in decimal format. Whoops, started that one out wrong. A little correction here. 0.37. Okay, we are just about ready to go. TH equals 1.25, and billion is times 10 to the 9 years times log base 10 of 0.37 divided by log base 10 of 1 half, and I'm going to just write it in decimal form. You don't have to, I just find it a little bit easier to keep track of what's going on. Scroll down a little here, get some room. Okay, I'm going to start out by calculating what these log values are. So I'm just going to rewrite this part, 1.25 times 10 to the 9, years, abbreviate that, and now it turns out that log of 0 0.37 is negative 0 0.432, and log of 0 0.5 is negative 0 0.301. So in trying to figure out what to expect in this answer, I notice that the number on top, the numerator, is bigger than the number on bottom, the denominator. So this fraction is going to be greater than 1, so the age of this rock should be greater than 1 half-life. So let's continue calculating. So 1.25 times 10 to the 9 years times... This ratio works out to be 1.435. Just going to multiply these together and get the final answer. You can pause it here and um, try this out yourself and play it when you're ready to compare. My final answer is 1.79 times 10 to the 9 years. This is almost 1.8 billion years. So if you wanted to write a statement about this, you can always just write it out in words, how long this is. Um, you might want to compare it to the age of the Earth. So you can look that up and see how this compares. It had better not be older, and um, luckily it's not. So I, I think we got the right answer here.